everybody. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just gonna, well, I wanna make one of these, what Janice gave me. The beautiful gift that she gave me. So, uh, of course I need to do a beautiful canvas that kinda looks like, you know, marble countertop look, you know? But I don't know. I, I know I'll find some things at Michael's, you know, and then I have all my dry flowers too. So I'm going to not go with the browns, but I do love those earth tones, but I have all of these. I have resin. <laughs> these are all just resin. Just this set here. Not with this one though. So I plan on, and see they're hard. So this one, since they're long stemmed and they're so pretty, um, I want to get a thin vase, glass vase, maybe pour over it or just keep it glass, you know, clear glass, pour some resin in it. That will make it look like water and put these in there permanently but those are all resin see how nicely they pop up the colors <laughs> then of course I have all of these are all resin they're hard as good rock so they're gonna last a long time and I think they'll work good in some cubes too you know for resin molds and stuff but real hard <laughs> but so many of them so that's what I plan on doing I want to do two two things I want to do one of these with shadow box because I have so many of these panels you know and these are the little Arteza five by seven panels that fit in here perfectly and you know put some flowers i was originally going to use this one but i'm thinking it's a little too wild okay so i think i'm gonna do something more subtle and soft just like that one you know and then put some flowers down here and maybe a hummingbird or something you know not too much not too cluttered on that one and then this one I want to try to decorate like that with all kinds of pretty stuff with my flowers, my resin flowers. So the way I've always done a marble or granite type looking is just a lot of white, you know, or whatever color you're working with, but white's the best, of course. And just drizzle some colors in it, blend it up a little, and tilt and hope for the best <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one on this 12 by 12 canvas and then I'm gonna do one on this 5 by 7 panel board and you know how sometimes panel boards curl on you if they're a little too wet Artis is really good about not doing it I've had them not do it before but the way I do it is I will keep I'll put this of course in my drying rack but I'll keep this on the rack where it's wet with some paint. That way it sticks to it and it completely keeps it from curling. And then once it's dry, I just take a stick or something, stick it underneath, pop it, it pops up. So that's what I'll do with this one. I'll just keep it on there until it's dry. But anyway, so this is just going to be the canvases for backgrounds. So here we go. Um, my paints are mixed with the one part glue wall, one part Floetrol, and one part paint. The heavier body paint, I needed just a little bit of water to. Okay, so this one's just the Artist Loft White. So I'm going to go ahead, pour a puddle here. A nice big puddle. You know, I don't want to be 
worried about waste and white there because I want to get some nice stuff. And then I'm going to take some of this violet purple. My pipette. that a little bit of ocean green not too much of that I think that's good and then all my magentas rose Metallic rose, Anita's rose gold or rose. Then I have a little bit of the Prussian blue. Hopefully, I didn't put too much. I think I might have, but you never know. Cause there's a lot of white in there. All right. If I'm just gonna take my fingers like this, let's have some fun. Oh, I hope I didn't put too much. I think I did. Well, we'll see. You never know. Yeah, that was too much paint. That was good. But this side wasn't. Just gonna swirl it a little bit. Oh, for the best. But yeah, I put too much. I normally do not put that much. Although it's turning out nice. Definitely looking marbly. That one's going to stretch that down to this corner. This is going to be good, I think. I'm going to get that one end right there up. And that's it. That's good. Right on. That's pretty good. I think those flowers look pretty on there. And it's got some blue in it too, some hints of the uh, magenta, which is really good. I'm liking it. Let me center that back to the center now. That's good. There it is. So there's our first one. Now, yeah, I like it. I think it'll be pretty. Whichever way I decide, you know, to do it. Maybe like this. Put those flowers down here or something. We'll see. <laughs> But I'm happy with that. 
and pop those bubbles. That's pretty. Right on. So that is gorgeous. So I can't wait to start working on it. Let's look at it. So there's our first one. So I'm just gonna get the bottoms before I lay it down. Let those drip a little. Then we'll start on the panel board. Okay, so I couldn't be more happier with that one. That was beautiful. I'm happy with it, 100%. So I'm gonna take some paint, just in case I don't get it from the bottom. That way, this stays flat. <laughs> you could do it on a flat surface too. If you just want to keep them flat, wet some surface you don't care about, even like a tablecloth or something, you know, shower curtain tablecloth. There you go. <laughs> That's the way I do it. And they say flat as can be. Okay, so this one I want the same because I'm going to use the same kind of colored flowers, you know. same but this time I think I'm gonna do a little lighter not so much even though that one turned out perfect for something just a little bit on that one there see I started to go more anyway Persian blue. The oh, my cat's going nuts. Okay, I probably overdid it again. One finger this time. There. <laughs> it's pretty. Just something not so, there was a lot of cells in that one. And this is looking good. Yeah, I'm digging that so far, but I wanna just kinda mess around there. I'm gonna kinda bring that together. Oh my god. Oh, this is good. It's actually really good. So now I'm just gonna let that sit like this, but not touch the bottom or the top. Oh, I think that's going to be good. All right. Yeah, that'll be much better. Bring it back to the middle. And I don't know which way I will do it, but I'll figure something out. Flowers over here, flowers here, but it's good like it you know flowers down in here it'll look good i like it better than this one <laughs> where'd it go let me wipe my hands this was just a little too selly you know i don't 
Well, I'll save it, but yeah, you know, that's more subtle. I think it'll look a lot more prettier. Pretty flowers. Laying in there, you know? Oh yeah, that's gonna look pretty. Little hummingbird. Some, not stickers though, I'm not gonna put stickers. It's gonna be just like what Janice did, something like that, you know? These little pretty ones. And I could even paint them if I needed to, like that butterfly that she's got, that metal ones. Paint them. I have a lot of cabochons and leaves. Maybe put a little fence or something. But that's for the big one I'm gonna do. This one's just gonna be some little flowers, like a hummingbird or something. Maybe this direction. Flowers, hummingbird. Who knows? <laughs> well, that's it. So yeah, I've been kind of taking a break for the past couple days. Um, you know how it is. You kind of just get a little burnt out sometimes. So I realized when I start feeling that way, I'm taking a few days off. Because then... I feel like painting again after a couple days, you know? Like today, I feel like doing it a lot. But if I overdo it, then I get back to where you're kind of burnt out. So there may be some days where I'm not posting, you know? So that, that's what I'll do. So thank you for watching. And uh, I will show you the next steps to each time I do this. I may post another painting before I complete those because these have to sit for a while and cure because um, I'll gloss them first then I'll put the embellishments on them so it will probably be about a week or so okay everybody take care I'll catch you later and uh, continue to stay safe that's super important boy we're spiking here in Arizona and I know Florida is too, you know. Uh, I order a lot of stuff from Amazon. I don't go running out. Yes, I need to get some things from Michaels, but you know what, when I do, I wear my mask. And as soon as I get back in my car, I have my hand sanitizer there. I'm very precautious, so we've got to remain that way. You know, don't get complacent here for this, uh, you know, thinking, oh, it's all good. <laughs> it's not yet, obviously. Um, you know, there's people dying. We gotta, we gotta do this as a group. We gotta stick together and um, just cut, cut down the germs from being passed to one another. That's it. I know we can do it. So let's all hang in there and stay positive. We'll get through this, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.